As installers of green walls, we understand construction materials are very high in their carbon usage. And we've been looking to try and reduce our carbon footprint and change the materials that we can use in order to be able to benefit the environment. And we believe that green walls are a good way of doing that. Today we've got Tom and Jess from Plymouth University. Tom is a research fellow who's got some funding from Low Carbon Devon. We've been taking some photosynthesis efficiency readings and we're looking really at testing the different types of soils to try and improve the, the soil moisture conditions for, for plant performance. Are we just going to kind of let them grow? If you're okay with letting it go, oh, that would be yeah, really good. Yeah. yeah, whatever's in the best interest of science. Yeah. <laughs> we want to make sure that the benefits of a green wall are maximised, whether that's its insulation qualities or being able to improve biodiversity to the area. Oh look, a little bee just in flower. Having those pollinators in urban areas is going to be really, really important, particularly you know, where you don't have the greenery. I mean, that's why I think it's a bit of a no-brainer, isn't it, having these green walls. We're in a climate emergency at the moment and we need to change the way that we operate both in society, but also our business. It is great, isn't it? Yeah, nice to see. It's really, really great to work with someone like Matt. He's obviously got a passion for what he does, and he's ambitious for making his business a success in an environmentally sound, low carbon way. Let you guys do your work. It's actually relaxing, collecting data. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>